In this video, we'll walk you through the essential steps for setting up and using Data Extraction 1 tool, which is optimized for Cochrane reviews and intervention systematic reviews, such as reviews that study the effect of drugs, therapies, vaccines, medical devices, procedures, or public health policies. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up your data extraction forms, complete data extraction for individual studies, and export your data to RevMan for further analysis. Data extraction involves gathering and organizing data from studies for analysis, synthesis, or narrative summaries. Using a template in form is crucial for this process, and developing these tools early in the review can help reduce bias. Many review teams include a sample data extraction form in their protocols. This form should standardize data collection, minimizing the need to revisit your original sources. Covidence assists in creating a well-structured data collection template, which you can customize for your intervention systematic review using the Extraction 1 tool. While there's no one-size-fits-all approach to building a data extraction form, the process generally involves five key steps. Decide what data to capture, typically during the protocol stage. Develop a clear user-friendly template, considering flow and clarity to minimize errors. Pilot the template with a few studies and adjust as necessary. Covidence allows changes at any stage, extract data and make further adjustments as needed, and compare the data and reach consensus before exporting it for analysis or synthesis. For a more detailed guide on conducting data extraction in intervention systematic reviews, visit our resources page to download our free ebook with practical tips and advice based on insights from seasoned researchers. Once you've opened your review in Covidence, navigate to the data extraction template button. This button will be blue the first time you click it and white once you have published your template. There are five sections to the template, identification, methods, population, interventions, and outcomes. Now let's dive into setting up your identification section. Here you'll input the fields necessary for identifying each study, such as the study ID, title, authors, and publication year, and there's also space for custom fields. This section is crucial for ensuring you can easily track and reference each study in your review. The methods section of the template records the study's design and aim. It includes two subheadings, methods details, which features default fields for study design with options like randomized controlled trial and case control study, and group design with options such as parallel or crossover. You also have the additional data subheading, where you can add custom fields for specifics such as study aim, blinding procedures, unit of analysis, and recruitment methods. In the population section, you can detail the study participants, including eligibility criteria, group differences, and baseline characteristics. This section is organized into two subheadings, population details with default fields for inclusion and exclusion criteria and group differences and baseline characteristics where you can add custom fields like age, gender, or BMI. Baseline characteristics are displayed in a table format during data extraction. The additional data subheading allows for extra custom fields such as treatment restrictions or dropout rates to address specific review needs. The intervention section of the template captures details about the interventions in each study group. Interventions are defined by the first reviewer at the review level, allowing for the addition or modification of intervention group names. Under intervention characteristics, you can add custom fields to record specifics like intervention, definition, dose, frequency, and mode of delivery. These characteristics will appear in a table during data extraction organized by user-defined intervention groups. For example, you might add interventions like vitamin C and placebo and customize fields such as route of administration. The outcome section of the template records numerical data and details about how each outcome is defined and measured. You can add outcomes by completing three fields, name, type, continuous or dichotomous, and time points, for example, baseline or end of study. A table will be created to enter the outcome data. For example, if you add duration of cold days as a continuous outcome with data points at two months, you can record measures like mean, standard deviation, and n. With your section set up, click Publish Template, and it's now time to start extracting data from your studies. Open a study and begin filling out the data in each section according to the study's findings. 
ensure that all data is accurately recorded and consistent across studies. This will make it easier to analyze and compare the data later. To update the extraction form for a study, you must modify the template, which can only be done by the template creator unless team settings are adjusted. This ensures consistent data collection across studies. In team settings, you can set rules to limit permissions, define who must be the first reviewer, control who can resolve consensus, and specify who can edit the templates. By default, any team member can update the extraction template, but adjusting these settings can restrict editing access to specific individuals. Once data extraction is complete, you can use confidence features to compare data across studies and reach consensus with your team. Review the extracted data, highlight discrepancies, and discuss them to ensure accuracy and consistency. Effective comparison and consensus help in maintaining the integrity and reliability of your systematic review. Finally, let's look at exporting your data to Redman. Confidence makes it simple to transfer your data for further analysis. Go to the Export tab, select Export to Revman, and follow the prompts. Your data will be prepared as a set of files that is compatible for exporting to Revman, where you can continue your analysis and prepare for publication. If you have questions or need support while using Covidence's Data Extraction 1 tool, don't hesitate to reach out. Visit our knowledge base or contact our community support team for assistance. Thanks for watching.